Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Los Angeles Havoc, aka Laytato, the one and only high priest of the congregation. Welcome to another installment of Laytato Clips where we've got a little bit of everything. And y'all, we got a big one. Okay, so we've already gone over into the light, but today, today, Bungie did a live stream talking about the final shape. And I heard they've been cooking. I mean, when I say I heard, look, I wasn't even going to like do a reaction to this. I was concerned about it being super long. I want to just take up a whole bunch of y'all time. But I I tried to start watching and I had to be like my bro secrets. <laughs> and I, I was pausing and I was rewinding. OK, I was pausing and rewinding because I couldn't believe the shit I saw. Again, I didn't get um, I, I, I barely got like into a minute of actual content, but I was like, nope, got to make it a reaction. So I know this is going to be a long one. So if you could do me a solid by just giving the video a thumbs up, it's a little bit, but it does go a long way in terms of helping the channel grow. And I greatly appreciate it. And if you want to see more videos like this or more content in general, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications just so you can stay up to date with me and you won't miss the next video. But uh, without any further ado, this is the special developer preview of Destiny 2's The Final Shape. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, this is Luke from the Destiny team. What's good, Luke? The final shape is the culmination of a 10 year journey. A journey that began on the Cosmodrome, took you to the moon, Venus, Mars, the reef, and beyond. It's yes, a journey sir. that'll end inside the Traveler with you facing the Witness. But facing the Witness is not the end of Destiny 2. And it's definitely not the end of Destiny. <laughs> After you face the Witness, we're going to tell you what's coming next to Destiny 2. Okay, okay, talk your shit, beyond. Luke. We'll see you soon. Talk your shit. The Final Shape has been an amazing project to work on. The <laughs> amount of creativity, the amount of design work, the amount of all these elements coming together has been inspirational. I was like, are you guys, are you guys seeing screen, this? Like, are you guys seeing you this? Know. It looks awesome. It's gonna be awesome. I think that we're gonna have a pretty big impact and it's gonna shake things up a lot. And we just wanted to give you a glimpse of what we're working on. Let's see it, let's see it, let's see. That shit looks wild, by the way. Oh, uh, hold on, that's a witness? Subject here. Oh, uh, okay. What the fuck? Hey, yo. Hey, hold on. What the fuck? That was multiple subclasses. We are going into the build heart like, of the Traveler, the and the Traveler's chosen you, the Guardian, to be its champion. It's empowering us with gifts that we've never really had before. One of the concept artists early on created this very evocative image of a Guardian with light armor and dark armor. We're like, we really need this in the final shape. This is the ultimate form of being a Guardian, to wield light and darkness at the same time. We built Prismatic exactly to be that. Prismatic? Prismatic is the new subclass in the final shape where you can combine certain class abilities from different damage types together. Getting light and dark and mastering it. No one's done that before. Uh... Like the witness is manipulating the energies like this, but the witness is not a master of light and dark. You are. The guardian is. Players are. Um, 
In Prismatic, underneath your super bar, there's a light meter and a dark meter. As you what? deal damage with either light damage or dark damage, it fills the respective sides of the meter. Once both sides are full, you get this new level of power that we're calling Transcendence. I love what the Transcendence. Fuck? because you do these cool motions. For Warlocks, we have this cool, like, mystic pose. Hunters are gonna do this cool- What? The Titan Yo! Yo! While you're transcendent, you get a Yo. new, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. The Hunters Shut get the this fuck up. nice combo. Shut up! Titans, Strand, and Arc. For the what? Warlock, Stasis, and Void together. You Shut have the fuck a weapon up. damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast Transcendence. Excuse me? So you can loop me? them together, one after the other. What the fuck? That's really exciting. That is so Yo. good. <laughs> oh my god. We're kind of thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass where you have more build crafting options, more potential combinations, more fragments than you normally get, more fragment more? slots to socket them than you normally get. Dead Are they going to get this shit? What? 2,300. No, I'm just kidding. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm just the art director. <laughs> I think that Prismatic feels like you are doing combinations you shouldn't be able to do. It feels a little game breaking. I'm not going to lie. A, a little a little bit? Then I made so many role play fantasies come true. Jesus Christ. Yo. You're going to be like. That's oh, no. a whole different what super. That's a whole different super on top of the super. What do you mean? Yo, what? Bruh! It's not just about the mastery of light and dark. It's not just about using multiple at the same time. It's about figuring out how they work in concert in really interesting ways. We're transcending kind of the, the bounds of light and darkness. There's all these subclasses that really resonate with people. And now you can finally combine those and make your own oh my feel God. very unique Yo. in you. This like really opens up the doors for unexpected, like really wild stuff. I love uh, being a hunter and having gunpowder gamble and blowing them up. And then we're like, but wait, 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 what if you could slow enemies? You could throw out, you know, your shurikens. You and better then you stop. Blow up as well. And it's like, okay. I didn't think I could ever do those Yo, two things at the same time. you can't give me no time. shit. Like, what do you mean? And you tell me I can do as much as I want? You can throw a withering blade melee and like bounce it between a bunch of people and get like three kills from one melee and now your gunpowder gamble is like fully charged, right? Get the and fuck so, like, out of certain here! certain interactions I think Stop get a lot it. easier. Stop! Just because we've sort of made the Stop. aspects a little bit, a little bit more permissive, a little bit, a little bit get looser. The... Yo! I think when we play test, I'm probably gonna be running probably Warlock with um, this, the Lightning Surge build where you have Arcane Needle for three melee charges and then you combine that with Lightning Surge. You can throw Bleak Watcher on top of that for just like a little extra crowd control. The, or you can throw Devour. What? And so you're, you know, jumping in, Lightning what? Surging, that's killing a bunch of stuff. You're activating Devour. That gives you infinite sustain effectively to stay in the fight. As a Titan, you can just quickly start using your arc abilities to jolt all the enemies around you and then kind of finish them off with like the cool blades of Strand. And it's so <laughs> satisfying to see how fast you move. It's a very like, fun, destructive build that you can just like destroy everything around you and it, it, it's super fun. There was this moment for me where I was like, wait a minute, Yo. I could send out Threadlings and have a Bleak Watcher. It just creates these moments of no escalation within the way. combat. And I think that's really exciting for me. If you combine no Bleak way. Watcher and Feed the Void, you consume your grenade to throw your Bleak Watcher out there. And so it's, you know, locking stuff down with stasis, doing crowd control. You can clean that stuff up pretty easily with, you know, an arcane needle melee, which has three charges. Those ability kills will activate devour, which gives you more grenade energy every time devour activates. So lets you loop your bleak watcher. And so you can have like multiple bleak watchers out on the field, freezing stuff everywhere. You're just like, I'm sorry, your, he's turning a cool arc grenade into a bleak watcher? And everything's dying, it's great. What the fuck?
Yo, shut, shut the fuck embracing up. Embracing the challenge. Shut like, up. How do we make stuff that Yo. wasn't initially intended to like work together in the same build? Like, how do we twist them and warp them and push and pull this and that Yo, to make them work together? Yo, come on, dog. I'm what excited about, you know, seeing uh, all the players like talk about their favorite combinations. I'm just looking forward to all the, the videos that people make oh of their God. own custom builds is... with their own Yo. exotics that they're pairing it up with to create like this, these amazing builds. It feels infinite to me. Uh, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. Oh, they be cooking. What do you mean? Y'all better not hit me with a, but wait, there's more. That shit is hard. I ain't gonna lie. It's just, just a, it's go time. That's a whole nother super. That's a whole nother motherfucking super. But for abilities. And these new enemy types is crazy. We've been wanting shit like this for a minute. Tempest Beloved, okay. Tell me about the new enemies. In the final oh, chapter, we're we'll making is these new exotic class items. Exotic class items? These new exotic class Talk items allow shit. you to steal perks from other exotics and combine two perks together in no. one single exotic. You, you better perks fucking that come stop. On them are actually random rolled. One thing that is gonna be fun is to chase these perks and then find different combinations that work really well. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. What these the new fuck? Class items are all about prismatic and making that feel good. So it's gonna be all about enhancing your builds and your combination of light and darkness and achieving transcendence and what transcendence does. They also look so good. You goddamn right they do. Holy shit. The, the, With yo. these class items, we wanted them to stand out as I thought that, special. that nice shit was amazing. They have That's... these two perk columns that take aspects from other exotics. Exotic class items are gonna let you do things that other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. I managed to get for my slow them down, blow them up hunter build, a roll on the exotic cloak that made it so powered melee kills caused enemies to ignite. And also I could get an extra dodge charge so I could do an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time. What we the want to feel fuck? a little broken. What? Huh? It definitely felt like I had two exotics on my cloak, which is kind of the intention. We want that I to feel, feel like, like you're a little loud. I need, a bit. need to calm down, but what the fuck? It just opens up the space for mix and matching in a way that I think is gonna just be fun to see what combinations people find and like and what becomes the meta. I can't believe y'all doing this! They look amazing. I can't believe they it! They have visual effects that activate when you are transcendent. It just really ties into this overall theme. But on top of that, the gameplay with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics, and even from classes that aren't you, adds this element of spice to them. And the fact that it's random rolls, you're going to want to keep looking for the right one for your builds. Yo, that's hard. I ain't gonna, yo, that's. Ooh. Ooh. Moment of the witness, okay. Ridiculous. And he got the, oh my God. Okay. The Dread the or this new the witness dread? faction. The Dread? 
when That's you what y'all call see them? these new characters, not only do they look unique and new, but you see like a through line that we've been building through the years that connects it all together. And you've seen a member of the Dread before. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Mm -hmm. Well, that was just the first one. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the Tormentor and the Subjugators and the Weaver and the Attendant and the Grim and the Husk. Ooh. Ooh. This is like the embodiment of Ooh. the Witness in these new enemies. Oh! Oh my god, this changes! Every fucking thing. You know how the long Grim we've been wanting a, one of my favorite another enemy faction that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the this dread in some ways. It's every motherfucking bat with oh a my gun. God. The gun bat. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the gun bat. Allow me to take a the bat and give it a gun. Swoops all around the battlefield. It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. They can screech, and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. It also slows hey, you yo, down. Hey, yo, okay. It was something that immediately appealed to the team and made us think, we have to do this. We have to make this character. Damn. They the thought, they're shooting this shit out melee that, uh, who has these the fucking caretaker incredibly dangerous out. looking blades, and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. Ooh. They hurt. They have two of Damn. these very sharp melee weapons, and they just come charging with those things, and we'll just slice and dice. They are really dangerous, especially in groups. If you manage to kill the husk, you have to be careful, because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk, the geist is going to pop out, and it's going to seek you out. The fuck? Really? A geist has killed me more than I care to admit. Now I'm, like, what? looking everywhere every time what? I go into a fight, and I'm like, is there a husk somewhere? Is there what a husk the somewhere? Because I'm targeting that first. <laughs> the Weaver and the Attendant are our strand and stasis scions that have been reshaped by the Witness. We wanted to show like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you that will freeze you. They have a strand ability that will pull you across the battlefield. The fact that you can get suspended and frozen in place just adds a big new dynamic to the Ooh. fight. That shit gonna be a nightmare in GM's the only the time. Weaver, I ain't lying never to done you. Before. It'll that shoot shit's out gonna be crazy. This complete, powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, it's almost like a rubber band. It like pulls back. Damn! And like snaps and like pulls you towards that character as one character doing that to you, yeah, you can handle it. As soon as there's multiple characters trying to pull you in different directions towards you, you have to approach it in a different way. Oh my God, that's going to be crazy. We're really excited about everything that we've been doing for the final shape. It just feels like there's a really cool through line through all of this. It's the ah. culmination of the Guardian's journey over the last 10 years. We wanted oh. to deliver something that's really like fun and exciting and engaging for players. It is amazing to see this initial inspiration Shit. carried all the way through to become a reality in the final shape. Ooh. We need to go. Keep moving. Go. Ooh. The witness brought darkness into the Traveler to turn their threat into our annihilation. Something's changed in the Guardian. New power. I can feel it. Ooh. Ooh. These motherfuckers really broke the game. Oh my God, that shit. Oh my, yo. Oh 
Oh my god. Take this power guard. Oh, that's hard! Hunter gang! They do like in dark places. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Oh my god. Who's that talking? Who's that talking? I got too excited, I missed the dialogue. Ooh. Ooh. Mara? Eh? Oh my god. Oh shit. Pyram we getting the exact shit. What? A ship? An exotic ship? Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. Um whew, wow. Listen, I had to duck and dodge spoilers like my name was fucking Neo from the Matrix because I just wanted to, I, I wanted to just watch it straight through and make this for y'all. But like, oh shit. Whew. They broke the game. They, they really was like, yo, we're going to break everything to fix it. Like, <laughs> oh my God. I am so excited. I'm so ready. Like, I can't even begin to like talk here with y'all. I don't have time to even go into how many times my friends and I have talked about shit like having multiple exotic traits, wearing multiple exotics or having exotic class items. I think I think a homie said the other day, I wish we had exotic class items because there were exotic class items in Destiny 1, but they didn't, they didn't really do anything. They just let you have two exotics. They were cosmetic more than anything, if I recall. Um, someone correct me in the comments, comments if I'm wrong. I don't remember, but... Um, we ain't had no shit like that though, where it was gonna have like random rolls of like potential like uh, 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 of exotics, like like exotic traits on yo like <sighs> fuck like um and I've yet to step foot inside of into the light and onslaught, and I still got to do that and everything, but oh shit, the final shape. Wow. And you know what? If we never get another darkness subclass, I'll take prismatic. Cause like, holy shit. Like, and that doesn't even sound like a true, it doesn't even sound like, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's a new subclass, but it's like, it's a Swiss army subclass. <laughs> um, but the, imp the lore implications of that alone are fascinating and i cannot wait to just dive into it like i haven't pre-ordered it yet but i'm gonna fix that shit because wow like <laughs> I, i'm fixing that shit at my earliest convenience i haven't gonna hold you but um wow um if you made it this far i hope you were as hype as i am i hope you as, i hope you're as excited as i am for everything I'm sure there's going to be more coming down the pipeline that we hear about as we get closer. Um, sandbox updates and previews and things of that sort. And we'll be covering them. We'll be, we'll be, we'll continue doing our best to uh, recap information and everything. I'll probably do it like I did with the Into the Light video um, and make bigger recaps just because that's a little bit easier on my. Um, on my own schedule because it's just me it's just it's just me and a handful of my mods and everything like that helping me kind of keep on track with information and uh content cadence so and uh so i, I always want to keep things manageable and we uh, uh, of course we have other games that we're covering too but wow i can't wait for final shape i i'm <laughs> ah, man wow anyway it's been a long one. So I, I appreciate you being here if you've made it this far. And I hope you're just as excited as I am. If you want to see more content like this, do be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications just to stay up to date with me. Um, if you enjoyed the video, 
uh, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It's a little bit, but it does do so much to help the channel grow. And I just really appreciate it. My name is Los Angeles of Havoc. Thank you for watching Late Tato Clips. We will see you next time, friends. Same late time, same late channel.